All right, everybody. Today we are going to remove a piece of mylar from a Twilight Zone playfield that is starting to peel up a little bit. So if you look under here, you can see the mylar is peeling a little bit and it's starting to not look good, can affect the control of the ball. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a couple of things to remove this. We're going to use some regular isopropyl alcohol and we're going to use some canned air for the purpose of um, using it as freeze spray. Okay. Now I've done this on a couple of different machines before. Of note, this is relatively low risk right here, but when you do this on your own, as always, you know, at your own risk. But um, there's no inserts underneath this, so it's a relatively safe mylar removal. If there was mylar over this uh, door, I would be hesitant to remove it because a lot of times when you peel mylar over inserts, it can uh, peel up the little piece of clear that's over that insert. So what we're going to do, and I've also got a pair of uh, tweezers to help out. So what we're going to do is instead of trying to peel this up uh, while it's wet, what we're going to do is we're going to freeze it with that canned air. So you know how when you were a kid you turn the stuff upside down, spray it, and it would be ridiculously cold? Well what we're going to do is we're going to literally let this out real slowly on the part that we want to peel up and that is going to freeze the glue on the back side. We're going to grab it with something and we're going to slowly peel it up. See it's frozen the glue and it wants to come out real bad. So once we've got a hold of it we're going to do this slowly and we're going to use a ton of this stuff just to make sure we don't mess up. See look at that. Now this mylar has been on this Twilight Zone machines here. This is 2020, this is made 1993, so that's what, 27 years? So there's 27 year old glue under this. So I'm going real slow, and as you can see, this is peeling right up. Now it's obviously losing the protection underneath there, but I'm not putting nearly the amount of games that uh, this would see in a commercial environment in the 1990s. And that took what, 30 seconds? There's the piece of mylar, and as you can see, there's absolutely no art that has been lost. Now, the problem with this is there's 30-year-old glue on this. And now, there's 30-year-old glue down here, and it's sticky. So what we're going to do is we're going to soak that glue in isopropyl alcohol, okay? This is just regular rubbing alcohol from uh, the CVS pharmacy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, I'm going to spray it here, I'm going to put a paper towel down, make sure it gets and stays in that general area. I'm just going to soak this through. Now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to let the glue soften up a bit. Okay. And after I let this soak for an extended period of time, let's say about 15 minutes, I am going to uh, peel that up, or I'm going to try and rub that glue off. Okay? So um, I'm not a YouTube expert or anything like this, so I'm, it's probably just going to be a video of staring at a paper towel for a few minutes while I go over here and put some games on my Black Knight. Feel free to fast forward this part. Here we go. Let's start the time. There we go. So what do we say? Uh, about 7... Uh, we'll call it 
That's 716,440 points. So we're going to go ahead and see how soaking this in rubbing alcohol did. Now remember, the whole point of doing this was to try and get rid of the glue underneath. And it looks like, wow, that's coming up pretty easily. Now I've done this before on a white water, and I've done this before a little bit on a uh system 11 what was it a um thinking about what it was a whirlwind and when i did the whirlwind it was very difficult to come up whereas this is coming off uh really easy um so the glue residue can be kind of hard to get off but it looks like this isopropyl um alcohol soak is doing the trick real good and it feels perfectly smooth under there already. Just a couple of spots where I gotta get that last little bit of residue. And now I have a perfectly smooth play field over there with no mylar. Now obviously the mylar was uh, uh, providing protection. So um, I have nothing but uh, bare uh, play field here now so I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of um, wax uh, just to protect things. So that was the last wet paper towel. The residue, which honestly is was my biggest problem when I've done this before, um, is about all gone. So I'm using a fresh dry paper towel now. Look at that. Clear as can be. Looks like there's a little bit of glue. Yeah, this right there. Let's see. Wipe that off right there. Wipe it down. There we go. Awesome. Just want to make sure we get all that glue gone. And it looks like we have. So now I'm going to grab just a little bit of wax. That much. All right, I'm using mill wax here. Um, I've used uh, like you can use karumba or however you pronounce it, wax like, but you get it a uh, uh, car uh, shine type store. You know what I'm trying to say. You can use that too, or you can use some here. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure on the best way to apply this, but I usually just uh, put some on here, let it dry to a clear haze. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the middle of the play field while I'm here. Give that a minute. It smells terrible, but it does seem to work pretty good. Minute. But as you can see, the uh, mylar came right up. I'm gonna wipe this off probably a little bit sooner than I should, but I'd really like to play my new Twilight Zone machine. I just got this in yesterday and I've played it maybe twice. So let's get the rip. All right, but there you go. There's a uh, uh, mylar removal method uh, used free spray. Um, this is literally just canned air. Doesn't really matter what brand, as long as when you turn it upside down and spray it, it makes something cold. And uh, this is the mylar sheet that came off real smooth in one piece. Thanks.